What's up, HGTV? I'm Ben Napier from HGTV's hometown. And I'm Jay Pickens from HGTV digital series CJ Work. Welcome to my wood shop. This is my wood shop. It's ours. Still my wood shop. <laughs> Better bring your A game. Hey, y'all. I've got a few behind the scenes trip, trips and chicks. Here's a few of my favorite builds from the wood shop and some tips and tricks. I got that one. Cassidy showed me his wood pile. You got this old shed, you got stacks of lumber. I mean, it is paradise. Won't you help me build it? Oh man, that would be awesome. We got that big piece of cypress that's gonna look really good once we clean it up. We got tongue and groove pine flooring, and we've got big Douglas fir blocks. It's beat to death, but once we run through and then we take off all that grime and we get to what's underneath, it's gonna be awesome. So here's what I'm saying. You got the big long piece of cypress running down the center, frame it out with some of that old pine flooring. We tie it all together with the breadboard ends. That'd be awesome. Let's get started. I really wanted to plane that cypress first so he could see, you know, this thing that has been stored in his dad's shop totally reclaimed and brought back to a beautiful new piece of lumber. You like that? And that is gorgeous. It immediately goes from old, nasty, and beat up to brand new. Once it's all said and done, it's gonna be a really cool way to tie all that wood together for years to come. When we sold Billy and Emily on removing the glassed in porch, originally I said, I'm gonna use those windows to build a buffet. As we started pulling that lumber off, I mean, it was all really beautiful. It was just covered in paint. It's all old growth pine, it's beautiful. So I knew once we started, you know, planing that down, cleaning it up, we were gonna have a lot of wood that we could build a piece out of and it's all gonna match. We're really making this stretch. You know, we're using the trim, the window casings, the faux beam around the top. By shortening the windows, we're able to use them as cabinet doors. It's everything. This piece, some really pretty grain. I can use it for the top of the buffet. Yeah. That's some pretty wood, Ben. Isn't that nice? I even want to reuse the hardware, so these are the latches. Oh, yeah. And I've been cleaning them up. I think it's going to be really nice. You know, a lot of times when you build with reclaimed, it ends up looking a little bit rustic, but it's the simple fact that this buffet used to be their front porch. That's awesome. We're doing what I am referring to as an upholstered coffee table. Will we turn these legs in the shop? Yeah, we're gonna turn the legs, tapers down, and then I want a real hard line on this, this ring here. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Okay. So I'm gonna get started turning the legs. Why don't you work on pulling some nails and getting some of that plane down clean? Okay. Sound good? Sounds great. Gotta mark the center. This is my favorite new toy in the shop. The proper way is to hold it level, but I shave this one down so I can really hog down on it, get it round faster. I've got all kind of little blanks that I practice on, kind of get an idea. Like all you have to do is put one little mark, and when it's spinning that revolution, see my marks, they're just like little shadows, but then I can Take my pencil. Then I know where to cut. Isn't that cool? I mean, that's really dang cool. Woo! All right. Man, nice. Turned out good. Yeah, I love now that. Now we got four legs. We're ready to go. 